I'm Drew Binsky, and today I'm gonna show you what $10 can get you on the beautiful island of Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan! Welcome to Taiwan! Yeah. Oh my god. Woo, that is good. Very fancy. It's literally insane how fast we're going. Like, just. We have made it to Taipei. We did it. We found some stinky tofu. Very pungent. Taiwan is an amazing island in East Asia, known for its stunning natural landscapes, bustling cities, rich history, diverse culture, and delicious food. Mm. Oh my God. From north to south, this island is filled with hidden gems and smiling faces. But right now, I have one mission, to show you how cheap it is to travel here. 10 US dollars is about 300 Taiwanese dollars. It's time to hit the streets and see what we can buy. I'm here in the southern city of Kaohsiung at a market in front of a temple. And this fruit behind me, I've been told is a watermelon. It looks like the size of two bowling balls together. I've never seen a watermelon this big. We're gonna try some. Thank you. Watermelon sugar high. Drink that stuff, man. It's good for your health. Oh my God. Oh, that is good. Try this. It's so good. Take a sip. Wow, that's a watermelon. I'm this is up. seriously amazing. Behind us is a beautiful temple here. It's pretty cool, like the design, everything is red, there's dragons, there's balloons everywhere. Let's go inside, come on. I'll buy them over there. How much? Now we gotta learn how to use Those this. Those are incense. You light them up here, so you just put it together like this. Yeah. Dry that thing up. inside this Taiwanese temple. It's just so beautiful. And the way everybody prays, like the Buddhist thing, where they take the incense and they light them up and they do the prayer thing with their hands. It's just, it's really, really special. Not to mention the designs in here are just like dragons everywhere. It's red, it's festive, just really, really cool. Gotta love coming to Taiwanese temples. They're slightly different than Korean temples and Japanese temples. They have their own unique flavor here. So basically this is money for the gods or the the people that's the spirits. So they don't use the same cash we do. So this is pay respect. So later on, we're gonna take this. And we're gonna go to the uh, incinerator here to burn it. And that's how they, the, the God or spirit receives your so offerings. So even this one, this is money? Yes, Yes. they're all money. This is the fire pit just outside of the temple where you put your offerings and pay your respects to the God. This, and then just throw it in, throw it in. Do you make a blessing or you just throw it in? No, just throw it in. So the reason why they do this is so that they have money to, to spend? Uh, I think that's pretty much. But maybe it's also like a sign like, you know, you're, this is the only way you can offer them something, right? You can't see them, you can't yeah. really, you know. Now we're heading to one of my favorite cities in the world by bullet train, Taipei. It's going to be an epic adventure, two hours across the country going 200 miles per hour. This is gonna be sick. Very fancy. I can't believe I'm crossing the entire island of Taiwan from south to north in an hour and a half. Bullet trains are so cool and so efficient. You can carry thousands of people at once. I know they're expensive to make, but this is a smart way of investing money for any country, bullet trains. It's literally insane how fast we're going. Get some food. Hello. Do you have tea? Thank you so much. Okay. Nothing like a good old hot tea on the train. They do tea very well here. I mean, these views you can't beat it. This is the Taiwan style lottery. So they have like lots of different styles. Oh, it's like a car. Here, let's do it. Let's pick some. Three, three of these. Here you go. Thank you. Deanna's scratching it off. Hopefully we win. Lucky number. No. no. Well, we lost. We are on our way to Chile oh, Night Market. Yeah. And the end is cold. <laughs> it's actually kind of cold in Taiwan. People don't realize that. Especially up north. 
to bring your right, jacket. We've made it. This is the best night market in the whole world. There's so much food, activities, games, smiling faces, cool people. Fire! Are you guys excited? So excited. Let's go! If you just dip into the side streets here, you find temples and lanterns, and it's like super traditional. And then you look in front of you and you're at Night Market. How would you explain Sealy Night Market? It's an international night market. You can find food, you can find games, you can find entertainment, fashion, cheap things. You can find culture, the temple. You can find crowds, that's the most important. And yeah. good food. Exactly. What are we lining up for? We're lining up for the big sausage with the small sausage. They cut out the sticky rice sausage and they put the meat sausage inside. So the bun is the sticky rice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay let's don't do. open it. Oh. Squeeze the bottom. Oh. It will just squeeze up so you don't have to open the wrap. We have to choose with this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a favorite. Black pepper Taiwanese sausage. Mmm. Good? Mmm. Really good. <laughs> it's a pork sausage, not a beef sausage. And it's kind of sweet. And the bun is not bread. It's sticky rice? Yes. Yeah, sticky rice. Sticky rice is the bun. And the sausage is pork. Delicious. It's so fun. Mm. Phoebe here <laughs> loves stinky tofu. Yes. You can already smell it. You smell it? I know. Like when you're like 50 feet away, you can smell the stinky. It's like durian. Like you know when you're walking near durian. So if you don't know what stinky tofu is, you're gonna find out very soon. Come over here, try stinky tofu. How does it smell, Bella? Did you just bar? <laughs> you like the smell. Don't pretend. Do you, you like the smell? I don't like it. I don't like it, but I like to eat it though. Baby, we did it. We found some stinky tofu. Exactly. Dig in. Oh my god. This is proper stinky tofu here, though. The stinkiest of tofu. Cheers. Cheers. Pizza <laughs> box. Mm, Very pungent. It has the gravy inside. It basically tastes how it smells. But it's not too bad. Because you're used to it. <laughs> Let me try the broth here. Broth is good. Yeah. I can do so with the broth. So when you mix it together. You have to try the blood. This is the blood. Okay. Stinky tofu is underneath. I imagine the blood is stinky tasting. It's okay. Not too bad. Start from the tofu. What animal blood is it? Duck blood. Careful before you bite it. I'm gonna bite it. chop it in half. Because the juice will just burst out. Look at that steam coming off of it. <laughs> A fine piece of congealed duck blood. <laughs> Better than the stinky tofu. Right? It actually right. doesn't really have a taste. She's oh. a pro. She's eating like a pro. Oh, man, a pro. I don't which, like the smell. Which one of you is a Taiwanese person? You <laughs> hold your breath if you don't like it. Just hold it like that. Oh my god, the end is going nuts over here. Love it. I'm gonna do the two together. So I do it one time. Smart. Yeah, and then drop again. You see? This whole thumb stuff. <laughs> is it a good uh... Do you smell that? Yeah, it's not that bad. Why is it stinky to you? Because it's fermented. We have found the street with all boba tea. Let's go get some. I'll have 50% milk tea. 50% sweet. Is this yours? Like you own this? Yeah, I, I buy this. So you buy it and you come to get milk tea and bring your own thing? Only for milk tea? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now for the taste test. Good job. Oh, that boba. Mm, the brown sugar in the boba. When you chew it, like, it kind of bursts. It kind of bursts open. Mmm. It's so good. Milk tea in Taipei. Mm. In total, I got a watermelon juice, a temple offering, a hot tea on the train, a lottery ticket, a Taiwanese sausage, a bowl of stinky tofu, and a boba tea for $9.97. And that is what $10 can get you in Taiwan. Wow, thank you so much for watching this video. I had a blast making it as usual. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more stories from every country in the world. And I will see you guys next time.
Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome travels. And also I'm giving away a free digital version of my top 100 best travel photos of all time. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for my free email newsletter and you'll be sent this straight to your inbox. Thank you guys. Stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.